All right, in this final, probably, video, I'm going to show you how to do all the subpages um, on this app. So, for instance, we're going to have the page that comes up when we click on the search, uh, and we're going to have the keyboard that pops up, we're going to have the podcast page, and we're going to have the album page. So it's going to be pretty similar to the process we've been doing, but I'm going to show you a few more extra tricks. So what I'm going to do for each of these is just, I'm going to click on search and press command D or control D, whichever system you're on. And I'm going to put that down here so I know that it's a sub page. And I'm going to rename this search dash history. And then I'm going to duplicate this page, control D move that down here and I'm going to call this library dash podcast and I can call the other one library dash music and then songs I'm going to duplicate and call this one album okay I think that's going to be all the main pages And I'm just going to add one more frame by pressing F and clicking down here. I'm just going to stretch it to the width. And this is going to be just for the keyboard. Now this is going to operate a little differently. This is going to be an overlay instead of its own page. So I'm just going to call this keyboard. All right, so now <clears throat> I'm going to go into each of these and just delete out there we go. All right, cool. So let's start with the easy one. Um, let's do the music and podcast one. So on the podcast, I'm going to press Control Shift K to bring in my new image. And this is going to be library podcast. I'm just going to click in here. And then I got to switch back to design. I'm going to do the, the old 0, 0, 0375 trick. And now I just click on the title, drag the bottom up until it's to there. And then for the album, I'm going to do the same thing. Control Shift K. Look for album. There it is. Add it. And then same deal, 0, 0. 375. Okay. And I need to adjust this to fit the whole height. And I think this one actually is going to need the controls. So I'm going to click on this and you can either press command D or you can alt drag so that we have this here. Now I just need to make sure that this is stuck to the bottom, which it's not. So I gotta click fix position when scrolling. And just do some fine adjustments here. Okay, now for search history. So I'm gonna click on here, add the image, and I called this one search menu, but this is search history. So I'm gonna hit enter, click here, And make sure it's 0, 0, 3, 7, 5. And then adjust the bottom edge. Okay. And now I need to add the keyboard. So I'm going to click on keyboard. And then I have one called, I don't have one called keyboard. So I'm going to have to do a search for this one. Just say iOS keyboard. Here we go. There's a keyboard. Okay, so I'm going to save this as. Just save it with the rest of those. Okay. So I'm just going to drag it right in there. I'm going to set the all that to 00, 375. Okay, so now I'm just going to crop the bottom to fit it. Okay, so there's keyboard. Okay, so I think I have all the pages 
at this point. So now I just need to add hotspots and then link everything together. First, I already have these links here for the album, so I'm going to have these link to the album page. So I need to switch back to prototype, click on this square, drag that over to the album. And I think we can make that instant, but I just need to double check on my phone to see what the transition is actually like. So if I go to home and I click an album, okay, so what it does is it slides in from the right and it does a little fade. So now we get to album instead of instant, I'm gonna do slide in and I have, have that come in from the right side. Okay. And then I'm gonna do the same with this. Drag that over and it keeps the same transition. So I think we're good for that. So now I need to make it so that when I click right here, it does two things. It brings up history and the keyboard at once. So this is where we start getting a little more advanced. What I need to do is add a hotspot here first. So I already have one over here. So I'm going to alt drag. So I have that here, drag that here, drag that here. And we have this blue line connecting. I'm actually just going to click on and delete it so that it has no more connections. First, we take this hotspot and we drag that circle down to here for search history. And we want on tap, navigate to search history, and we want it to dissolve. And that's just going to have it fade because that's what it does in the actual app. And then once this arrives, what we want to do is click on the actual frame title itself, not any buttons. And we want to make sure we're in prototype, click plus, and instead of tap, we're just going to say after delay. And it's going to say how much time do we want after the delay? We actually don't want hardly any time at all. We just want like one millisecond. And when, after one millisecond, I want to open overlay. And which one? The keyboard, which is right here. And it gives me some other options. How do I want it to overlay? I want it to come from the bottom center. And I want this option for close when clicking outside. So what that means is once this keyboard pops up, if I click off of the keyboard, it's gonna disappear. And for animation, I want move in, and I want it to move in from the bottom, okay? So let's see how this all looks in combination. All right, so here's my search page. I click here, it fades, and then the keyboard pops up. Pretty cool, huh? And then I click off of it, and the keyboard disappears. And just go back to, well, the funny thing is, from the search history page, I can't actually go back to search, so I gotta correct that. So I'm gonna click again. The other thing I want to do is when I click cancel, I want this to go back to the search page. And also, I want to make sure this stuff works, which looks like it does. Okay. All right, so on this, I got to make sure that this goes back to here and make sure that, so I don't want any transition, I just want it to be instant. Actually, I do, I do want it to fade back, so dissolve. Okay, and like I said, I wanna have a hot spot here for cancel, and I wanna be able to click here to bring back the keyboard if I need it. So I'm gonna take this hot spot and duplicate it down And then click that. I'm going to delete this connection. And I'm going to click the plus for prototype and tap on tap, open overlay, and then choose keyboard. And then for the 
transition or the animation, I want it to move in from the bottom. Okay. And then I'm going to duplicate this. So Alt drag, or you can press Control D or Command D. And for cancel, that's going to take me back to the search page. So I'm going to connection and then just drag this to search. Okay. And I also want, instead of move in, I want it to dissolve. Okay. So now there's just lots of little other tiny things all over the place. So we want to make sure that when I click podcast, that'll take me to podcast. And when I click music, it'll take me back to music. So I'm going to add some hot spots for those. So I'm going to take this, copy it over, size it over podcast, delete that connection, and then I'm going to have this go down to podcast. And for animation, I'm going to have it move, or actually I'm going to have it push. It just pushes it right over like that. And then I want to do the same thing on this page. So I want to make sure I made a duplicate. I didn't. Okay. So I'm going to copy this over to here, delete that connection. And then I'm going to drag that back. And I'm going to have it push the other way. So I got push set up here. Okay. And then next, I think this will be the last. I've got this little arrow here that's going to take us back to the album. And then I've got this, which will take us back to wherever we were before. Okay. So I'm going to copy these hot spots over again. Drag that here. Delete the connection. And this time, we're going to add a new type of interaction. So I'm not going to drag this to any particular place. I'm going to hit plus, and on tap, I'm going to choose back. So basically, whatever the last page that it was on, that's where it's going to take us. And I don't think this offers any kind of animation. Okay, so that's it for that. And this one will take us back to the album. So I'm going to copy that, delete this connection, and drag this. Or sorry, no, this is the album. So, so actually, I think this is, you know what? This is the same thing. This will take us back as well. And I think at this point, all of our interactions are set. So we can go home, hit play, and test this out, make sure everything works. Okay, scrolling up and down. Okay, that takes us there, that looks good. Click back, cool. Uses the same transition, go to search. Okay, scrolls up and down. Search bar, okay, fades. I can click off of it, keyboard goes away. Click search, it comes back. Click cancel, takes me back to search. Go to library. Go to podcast, it pushes over. Music pushes over the other way. Okay, so this thing works perfectly. That goes back to here, amazing. Okay, awesome. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. When you're done, click share prototype and copy the link so that I can see it. Take care.